In this video, we're going to create a slug generator or a SEO URL friendly generator that basically allows us to take a string like this and go ahead and convert it to something like this. And we'll be looking at regular expressions in PHP and uh, this will basically allow us to just quickly and efficiently remove what we don't need and add what we need to make it look like this. So let's go ahead and jump straight into how the code looks. Okay, so over to our text editor, we're now gonna go ahead and start writing the PHP that we need to build up this functionality. Now you can see that I'm starting out with a doc type here. And the reason this being is that I have a char set here set on my page. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're also gonna be including characters like these in our SEO URL generation. And typically this wouldn't work. So we need to go ahead and add Unicode support when we create our regular expressions. So that's why I've created this doc type. We're gonna go ahead and create the function up here and then we're gonna call the function down here in the body. And because we've specifically defined the char set on our page, this will go ahead and allow characters to look as they do. Now we'll go ahead and take a look towards the end of the video at what happens if you don't declare a char set and the problems you'll probably see in browsers if you don't. So the first thing we really want to do here is just at the top here, go ahead and declare a function. Now this can be done preferably in an external functions file or even better as part of a class. Maybe you have a, a generic sort of string handling class to your application, but we'll go ahead and just create a function here just for simplicity so we can pass a string in and get a string out. So let's go ahead and call this function create slug. And we need to go ahead and we'll just define an argument here and call it slug. So there's a couple of things that we need to do in here and we'll go ahead and add some comments just so we know what we need to, you know, do. The first thing that we need to do is basically remove anything that isn't letters, numbers, spaces or hyphens from the original string. So we need to remove letters, uh, remove, sorry, anything that isn't. So we need letters removed, uh, anything but letters removed, anything but numbers removed, anything but spaces removed, and anything but hyphens removed. And the reason we're going to do this is because we want to remove, well, we also want to uh, re afterwards remove things like spaces and duplicate hy hyphens. So we're going to do two regular expressions. The first one to do this, and then the second one to just clear everything up. So then we want to go ahead and remove spaces and duplicate hyphens because we don't want to go ahead and include you know uh, two or three hyphens within a sentence if hyphens have been included there what we then want to do is trim the left and right removing uh, any leftover hyphens so for example if you have a string like let's just go ahead and write it down here a string like this this isn't acceptable, so we want to go ahead and just trim. So we'll just say test here. We want to go ahead and trim this one, and we want to go ahead and trim that one. So that's what we want to do there. And that is pretty much it. Then we just want to return the string. So let's go ahead and focus on this. We'll leave the comments just up here, and we'll go ahead and write all the code down here. Now, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and redefine the slug variable. And this is going to basically be the first line here, remove anything that isn't letters, numbers, spaces, or hyphens. So in PHP, we use preg replace or P reg standing for Perl regular expression. And we go ahead and we pass our regular expression in here. We then choose what we want to replace this with. And in this case, we're removing. So all we need to do is replace with an empty string. So then what we want to go ahead and do is pass in the string that we want to apply this to, and that's obviously the slug. Now in a minute, we're gonna go ahead and look at the uh, this and applying a function here to actually set the lowercase value of this. But we'll go ahead and concentrate on the regular expression first, because that's probably the most difficult part. So let's go ahead and give our uh, regular expression a name, a descriptive name. I'm gonna call this uh, letters, numbers, spaces, and hyphens. This is basically gonna remove everything uh, that isn't a letter, number, space, or hyphen. Let's go ahead and put our start and end to our regular expression. So I'm, I've chosen a forward slash, and we're going to go ahead and add Unicode support onto the end of this. So this is called a modifier. Um, the reason we're, as I said at the start of the video, the reason we uh, need to provide support for Unicode characters is because we're using special characters with accents or anything like that. So within here, what do we want to do? Well, we want to group something in here, and this means match any. So anything we put in here, it's going to match anything, but we want to match not everything but these. So we go ahead and use this modifier here. 
So now what we go ahead and do is we need to provide the characters or the uh, or the representation of what we want to uh, keep. In this case, it's a hyphen. So we can't just add a hyphen here, unfortunately. We have to do a backslash hyphen. That just escapes this as a as something we want to use, literally not as a some kind of rule or pattern. So then we also want to remove spaces. That's just, uh, sorry, anything but spaces. That's just backslash S again. Uh, this is just the way the modifier looks out. Then we want to use PN for numbers. And this is because we're using Unicode support. So PN will basically uh, represent numbers. And PL, you probably guessed, represents letters. And we also want to add the plus modifier on here because we want to basically uh, exercise this across the entire uh, string. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and look at testing this out. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this regular expression down here. And we're, remember, we're placing with nothing. Let's just go ahead and call this function and see where we're at at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and echo create slug. And then I'm going to go ahead and pass a string in. So I'm going to type this is an article title. That will do for now, I suppose. Let's go ahead and refresh. And oops, we didn't return anything. So let's go ahead and return slug. So we've returned that from the function. We're echoing out the result of the function here. And it does absolutely nothing. So the reason it's not done anything at the moment is because we're not actually adding any hyphens in anywhere. And we're also not setting this to lowercase. We do need this to be a lowercase string. So what we want to go ahead and do now is just test this out by adding a few uh, hyphens, some extra spaces here and then go ahead and add some maybe funny characters. So let's go ahead and look at the result of this. So perfect. So what it's done is it's, it's removed, uh, or sorry, removed the special characters on the end of here, like all the rubbish I just typed in. We've got this duplicate hyphen issue, but that's fine. We can go ahead and deal with that uh, later. So let's go ahead and do this. So we've got the multiple as in, you know, uh, at the moment, we're going to remove lots of spaces. This basically means find lots of within the string, as we've already mentioned. So this is lots of uh, spaces, and that's why this has been removed. So that's been replaced with nothing. But now what we want to go ahead and do is say slug preg replace again. So Perl regular expression again. And we want to go ahead and add a regular expression. And this time we want to replace lots of things with hyphens. And that's again applied to the slug. So let's just take a look at what we actually need to do here. We need to replace um, any amount of hyphens with one hyphen because we don't want duplicate, duplicate hyphens. We also want to uh, uh, have as, uh, any amount of spaces replaced with a hyphen as well. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, so the regular expression is going to look like this. Uh, and we'll go ahead and give this a name, something like spaces and duplicate hyphens. Okay, so the regular expression obviously starts off with uh, two characters like this. So I've chosen forward slash forward slash, and we want to go ahead and group these. So any of these, uh, I'm going to again say forward slash uh, or backslash, sorry, hyphen and backslash S, and we want to match any number of these. So any number of hyphens, in that case, it will re remove these and any number of spaces. So that will go ahead and replace all spaces with a hyphen and all hyphens with a single hyphen. That's exactly what we want, because we want to remove them duplicates. So if we go ahead and replace that in there, let's go ahead and echo the slug out now, and there we go. So we're halfway there. The only problem is we've got a hyphen on the end of the string, which we'll go ahead and remove with the trim function. We also need to convert this to lowercase, because at the moment I can you know, write anything I want in uppercase, and it will remain as in that case. So what we do here is we change it at this point here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the mbstr to lower function. Now, what this allows me to do is provide a particular char set. So let's start to bring in um, some special characters here. And we'll go ahead and look at how this will work. Oops. Right. So what's happened here is um, the regular expressions actually silently failed. And that's because I've not declared a char set. If you can see, if I remove this, or not, not declared encoding, if, if you see, I remove that, we get this uh, added here. So everything looks fine here. But when we go ahead and use something like str to lower,
this works fine. But we don't want to use STR to lower. It's not recommended that we do use this, particularly when we're dealing with different characters. So we want to go ahead and use MBSTR to lower and then go ahead and define the character encoding. Uh, in this case, it's UTF-8. So that's going to that's gonna work now. You'll see that that works. I'm refreshing and we get the same result and everything is now lowercase and we've catered for the exact string length, uh, the exact uh, uh, character encoding. So now what we want to do is finally just go ahead and trim off the hyphen. Now you might be familiar with the PHP trim function, but what you may not know is that you can actually define what you want to trim from the left and the right hand side. If it was just a space, you could de define it like this or like this. We're going to go ahead and choose a hyphen. We want to remove them from the left and the right. In this case, we've got one on the right hand side, so when we refresh, that then disappears. So what we've now done with a few fairly complex regular expressions, but nothing too difficult. If you're new to regular expressions, these may look quite complicated. We've gone ahead and taken a string like this, a horrible looking string like this, and we've converted it to something that could safely be used in a URL.